actors. Those told to discuss a bitter battle between them and the po and the porch band of Creek Indians in Alabama. New tonight, news reporter Max Resnick attended the meeting where a fight to preserve their heritage is going on now. Max, Marla, imagine that learning that your ancestors' graves were being dug up so that a multi-million dollar casino could be put in its place. That's what members of our community in the Muscogee Creek Nation are facing tonight, and they're going to fight it. It is this land that is under attack, according to the Muscogee Creek Nation, a sacred ceremonial piece of land known as Hickory Ground in Wetumpka, Alabama. Even though we've been removed to a new place, uh, uh, our, our uh, beginnings, like Hickory Ground, uh, is still there. And it was there during the course of construction of a $250 million casino by the Porch Band of Creek Indians that they dug up more than 50 sets of human remains. When I came up on this issue, I knew it was an enormous challenge, but I couldn't turn my back on it because I, I felt like that these are my ancestors that are being disturbed. In December, the Muscogee Creek Nation filed suit against the Porch Band, claiming they acquired the land under the false pretense of preservation. We have been to their uh, leadership and asked that we be a part of how we can reinter those remains, and to a large degree it was ignored. Offers have been made according to Principal Chief Tiger, but none that would satisfy their heritage or their culture. We're not concerned about the casino. What we're concerned about is uh, having that property go back to its natural ways, uh, the cemetery being taken care of. There has been some offers. However, uh, culturally, we just can't accept those offers. The lawyer representing the Muscogee Creek Nation tells me the porch men haven't responded yet to the suit. It's a case that could play out for years in federal court. I'm told they're prepared to do just that. Max Resnick, live in the newsroom. Two News works for you.